From the Smithsonian, the idea that humans evolved in Africa can be traced to Charles Darwin. In his 1871 book, Descent of Man, he speculated that Africa was the cradle of humans because chimpanzees and gorillas lived there. Quote, It is probable that Africa was formerly inhabited by extinct apes closely allied to the gorilla and chimpanzee, and as these two species are now man's nearest allies, it is somewhat more probable that our early progenitors lived on the African continent than elsewhere. Charles Darwin, 1871. Professor David Bagoon, University of Toronto, August 2023. Darwin may have gotten it wrong when he opined that the most likely place of origin of African apes and humans was Africa. Now, a shocking new fossil find of an 8.3 million year old ape is presenting a major challenge to long held theories of human evolution. From IE August 2023, a newly found fossilized ape from Turkey is prompting researchers to reconsider long standing theories about human evolution that the ancestors of African apes and humans may have evolved in Europe. The fossils were discovered in 2015 near the town of Chankiri. They have just announced the results of their exhaustive study in cooperation with the Turkey Ministry of Culture. Chankiri is in the heart of central Anatolia. This is the region where agriculture was born 8,000 years ago to 11,000 years ago. From Fizz.org 2019, these early Anatolian farmers subsequently migrated throughout Europe, bringing this new substance strategy and their genes. From Johannes Krauss 2019, we detect populations of central Anatolia during the late Pleistocene, a genetic link with European hunter-gatherers that predates 15,000 years ago. Continuing, Central Anatolia has some of the earliest evidence of agricultural societies. Recent genetic studies have shown that in mainland Europe, farming was introduced by an expansion of early farmers from Anatolia that replaced much of the local population. From the Smithsonian, the Anatolians are the ancestors of all of Europe's first farmers. Turkey has an abundance of important archaeological sites in antiquities, including Heracles, Aphrodisias, Acropolis, Mesopotamia, and the Castle of St. Peter. In gratitude to the Turkish Ministry of Culture and Tourism, Çok Teşekkür Ederim. And now, with the discovery of Anadoluvius, Turkey has just joined the top tier of archaeological sites for human origins. Olduvai, Hadar, Cima de los Huesos, Rising Star, Dimanisi, and Chop Caldian. The Miocene Apes of Europe. Quote, I'm a huge fan of Planet of the Apes, but the Miocene was a true blue bona fide Planet of the Apes with insane diversity among the apes during this time period. End quote. Erica Gutsick Gibbon. The Anadoluvius paper was published in Nature, August 2023. A new ape from Turkey and the radiation of late Miocene hominids with various authors.
Continuing, our results suggest that the hominines in the Eastern Mediterranean evolved from dryopithecines in Central and Western Europe. Though, there are alternative interpretations. Either way, the oldest known hominines are European. The authors give a detailed analysis of the morphology of Anadoluvius, including the narrow mandible, reduced canines, consistent with Australopithecus, a gorilla-like cranium, and facial features. The authors go on to make a stunning comparison that the morphology of Anadoluvius recalls the earliest African hominids like Lucy. And the evidence from dental enamel, a parallel in Africa with Artipithecus and Australopithecus. Up until now, the standard line in paleoanthropology has been Procouncil African ape 25 million years ago to Miocene African apes to the last common ancestor for chimpanzees and humans to the first hominins after the two diverged. Professor Darren Cunro, The Conversation 2017, debate about the separation of humans and chimpanzees focuses on a period of five to seven million years ago. Continuing, a number of fossils from East and Central Africa may fit the bill. Three species, Artipithecus cadaba in Ethiopia, Orion tugenensis from Kenya, and Sahelanthropus chidensis from Chad. But the discovery of Anadoluvius raises another distinct possibility. Europeans and Asians could have an entirely separate ancestral path from the Africans. Professor Bigun, quote, This new analysis provides the strongest evidence to date that hominines originate in Europe. This contrasts with the long-held view that African apes and humans evolved exclusively in Africa. For example, Homo heidelbergensis, first discovered in Germany in 1908, has long been mired in controversy. Paleoanthropologists are uncertain of Homo heidelbergensis' origins. Dates for Heidelbergensis range from 1.5 million years ago to 200,000 years ago. One scenario has Heidelbergensis as the last common ancestor of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. Is there a direct line from the European Miocene apes to Homo Heidelbergensis? Dryopithecus to Anadoluvius to Homo heidelbergensis. To the ancient Anatolian farmers. Thank you for watching. Remember, the best thing you can do to help us grow this channel is to pass this video on to others on Facebook, on Twitter X, on Instagram, and other platforms. Thank you.